Well, happy April 1st, everyone. It's officially uh, the, the first day of the 23% increase on the carbon tax. Uh, hopefully it's not too much of a burden on you financially. I know it's going to be tough with the grocery prices. I'm sure they're going to go up. Gas is going to go up. Hopefully everyone's going to be okay and they can afford things. Uh, but I did just want to you know, show this one last message that Pierre Paul Yev had. It's a video called Hurry Up. And that's uh, really just that's self-explanatory, really. And then he's going to just kind of, you know, break down what's happening as of today. Time is running out for you to fill up your tank one more time before that price goes up. Justin Trudeau is planning a 23% carbon tax hike on April 1st. Just over a day away. That's right, April Fool's Day, and the joke is on you. Everything he said about the carbon tax has been a joke. He said it would never go above 11 cents a liter. It's already well above that, and it's on route to going to 61 cents a liter if he and the NDP are re elected. He said he'd be better off. But now we know from the parliamentary budget officer that in every single province where the tax applies, the families pay more in tax costs than they get back in rebates. The other joke is that the tax is just on gas and heat. Forget it. It's on everything that's transported by truck or train because our truckers and our trains need fuel. When that goes up, everything goes up. You tax the farmer who makes the food and the trucker who ships the food. You tax all by the food. So you should fill up now to avoid the latest Trudeau tax hike. But that will not solve your long-term problem. Because if you think right. you're re-elected, Costly carbon tax coalition will raise your tax and quadrupling it in fact. The only way to solve this is to elect a common sense conservative government that will tax the tax so you can pay less and pay more. Yeah, I mean, he explained it perfectly, right? Like, it's not just going to be gas that goes up. Anything that is trained or trucked here, their gas also goes up. The price gets passed down along to the grocery stores who pass it down to us. Now, again, you know, he's right. You know, you can hurry up and fill up, and I would encourage you to do that. Get one last relatively cheap fill up before you know before today came along. So hopefully on the weekend, you know, you did that as gas prices, I'm sure, were much cheaper then as it is right now. But that being said, you know, he was correct. There's no long term solution here. We can't do anything to force it. There's no petitions. Vote of non confidence is very unlikely that it passes. Extremely unlikely that Trudeau calls an election, even though I, I understand there's the rumors talked about that in a previous video. But he, he's right. The only thing that we can really do here is to wait for the election and then make it so that not only does Pierre Paul Yev and the Conservatives win, but they win a majority. And they just released a, a new poll. And, and you know, the, the, the Conservatives are back up to 42%. Liberals stay the same, 20, 24%, I believe they were. Uh, 99% chance that Pierre Polyev at least wins a minority, but it looks like he's going to win around 210 seats as of now. But I have a feeling, and maybe I'm wrong, we'll have to see, but I bet by the time the next polling comes out, either, whether it's in the middle of April or early May, late April, you're probably going to see the Conservatives' numbers increase. Because so whether you fill up on the weekend or not, you're still going to eventually have to pay these ridiculous prices, and even Trudeau fanboys are going to start to leave. I don't think it's going to go up to 50% for Pierre, but it wouldn't shock me that much over time if this keeps happening. And let's also be honest, is, is this going to be the last tax hike that Trudeau introduces? No. Nope. Are these going to be the last form of taxes he introduces? I doubt it. There's also rumors that Toronto, I haven't looked into this much, but I just heard a little bit about how Toronto, the people, the people of Toronto may now have to start paying rain tax because all the extra water going through their pipe. Again, I don't, I don't know much about that. I got to look more into that. I just heard it and I thought, wow, just taxing people again, more taxes for the government, less money for us and more power for them. Less money we have, the less freedom we have. That's that's just, that's not that's just undeniable. More money you have, the more options you have. 
If you're poor, you can't move. You're making a million bucks a year. Well, if you're making a million bucks a year, what are you even doing here still? You're probably taking 60% of you. Like, go move to Texas or Florida or Tennessee or somewhere. Like, why would you even stay here? I wouldn't. But you have the choice when you have that kind of money. When you're making 30 grand a year after taxes, it's like you're going to save up for a to move across country. You're, you're going to save up money to, to have first and last. You're just not going to, you're likely not going to be able to do that. Because our finances are just, they're just being hammered by this liberal, communist wannabe government. And the only way we're going to change that is if we have an election. But it, there's not an election coming anytime soon, unfortunately. So we're, it looks like Canadians are going to have to suffer for at least another year and a half. And likely even beyond because it's going to take time to fix these policies. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Um, hopefully the tax isn't hurting you too much. Like I said, I I feel really bad for people who you know, rely on gas, you know, a, a lot more than I do. So hopefully they're they're going to be okay and they can get through it. But I don't know. I'm not very hopeful uh, about the future of the middle class, the working class. We're just being taxed to death. Thanks uh, for watching and uh, for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, we're growing a little bit on YouTube, uh, you know, 680 subscribers, not where we want to be, of course, but I do appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate each and every one of you who watches. And if you don't mind to, you know, just quickly hit the subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. It helps me grow a lot on YouTube. Thanks so much again, guys. Take care and I'll be back shortly with another video.